All right, guys, it is week 12 of the NFL season. Here are my picks, guys. The Bengals have been very dreadful and heartbreaking in, in terms of closing out games. And unfortunately, it's resulted in two straight losses where our offense has played at its peak form. But that's just what bad teams do. They find ways to lose. And I really was... That game really broke me, to be honest, for the entire season. And, um... Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do in terms of, you know, the Bengals. But, you know, regardless, I'm going to try to stay upright and get these out for you guys. Because, you know, that's just what I do on here. And I'm going to try to get these picks out. And hopefully, hopefully I have a solid week, man. Um, but, yeah, let's dive into each matchup. So, first up, we got two teams that I cannot stand. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Cleveland Browns. So, the Steelers are coming into this game after a, they got a tough win over the Baltimore Ravens. Their defense absolutely carried the load. <laughs> Uh, Chris Boswell, he kicked all six of their field goals, and they were able to scrape out a win even without scoring a single touchdown. So um, I think that says a lot about, you know, how strong their defense truly is. And, um, you know, Tomlin, his teams, Mike Tomlin's teams, they always seem to find a way to get it done, man. So in a big rivalry game, that was huge, and now they sit pretty at, in the AFC North. So then we look at the Browns. They looked absolutely terrible um, against the Saints. Dustin Hopkins missed two easy field goals. And, yeah, they completely fell apart in the second half, especially on the defense. They gave up 21 points in the fourth alone. The Browns look so shaky right now. The Steelers are playing tough. It's a divisional game, so I'm not going to completely sleep on Cleveland. But the Steelers just feel like the, the, the more obvious pick here. I think... They're just rolling right now. Russell Wilson is, seems to be finding some rhythm. He was a little off last week, but it's the Ravens. You know, it's always kind of like that. But yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Steelers on this one to get a win to improve to nine and two before they head into a long week. Now we go to the Sunday games. <laughs> we got the Tennessee Titans at the Houston Texans. So the Texans are riding a high. They're riding pretty high, man. They got a big win over the Cowboys in Week 11. Uh, Joe Mixon, he's been playing like a stud, man. Uh, so kudos to him. It's cool to see former Bengals, you know, do their thing. And their defense came up clutch. I mean, they got a... I'm trying to think. Was it a fumble return? Yeah, it was a fumble return for a touchdown that sealed a game. And they've been one of the better teams at home here. Outside of that collapse against the, Vi uh, the, the Lions, rather. Um, the Titans, however, they lost to the Vikings. They couldn't really get much going. And, uh, you know, Will Levis, he did throw a touchdown pass last week, but they gave up too much pressure to him. And the Texans, they just play good at home. And they're the better team here, in my opinion. So I'm going to go Houston on this one. Uh, I think that they just, they, they're just, they just seem like the safer pick. And I think they're going to try to stack up some wins just because they, they know like it's, it's been a struggle, but give me, give me Houston in this one. Next up, another divisional game. This time it's the NFC North. We got the Minnesota Vikings at the Chicago Bears. So the Vikings are coming into this one with a good win over the Titans, as I just mentioned. Sam Darnold, he looked a lot better this week. He threw for two touchdowns. He ran for one. And, um, yeah, their defense stepped up big. They sacked Will Levis five times. And they're starting to show a lot more consistency on the defensive side. But then you look at the Bears. They lost in a heartbreaking fashion uh, on a game, you know, field goal that attempt that was blocked. So, uh, Caleb Williams is showing some flashes of potential, but overall, the Vikings' defense, I think, should have their way with him. And, uh, you know, Sam Darnold is playing pretty clean football right now. I think Minnesota seems like the better pick. So, I'm going to pick the Vikings to get a, get a dub here at Soldier field, field on the road against a division rival. So, give me the Vikings in this one. Next up, we got the Dallas Cowboys at the Washington Commanders. So, the Cowboys are coming off an embarrassing loss to the Texans. They couldn't really get anything going on the ground, and they gave up way too many mistakes. I mean, Cooper Rush, he had big passing numbers, but he also had turnovers that just absolutely killed their drives. <laughs> their special teams had issues as well. And then you look at the Commanders on, you know, last Thursday night, they lost to the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. You know, but that could have been competitive as well. Um, I mean, that was competitive as well. I mean, Jaden Daniels, he showed some flashes as well of potential, but Washington definitely has the pieces to bounce back here against an inferior opponent, and it is another divisional game. A lot of those this week. Dallas just looks so disorganized. I'm gonna go Commanders on this one. I think that they just they play better at home. Um, and the last time they were at home, obviously, 
know, that was a terrible towel frenzy. The Steelers fans completely took over that stadium. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Commanders at home to get a win over the Cowboys to just put their season in more of a dreadful state. Next up, another divisional matchup. Here we got the New England Patriots at the Miami Dolphins. So the Dolphins, they looked very sharp last week. They got a win over the Raiders. Tua had one of his best games of the year. He threw for three touchdowns. The offense looks balanced. They look dangerous. They look ready to play on defense. And, um, you know, the Patriots, they've been improving with Drake May at the quarterback, but they still lost to Miami earlier this season. I think it was in New England. They, I don't know if they have the weapons to keep up with Miami's high-powered offense. And Miami playing at home here, I mean, that just gives them a bigger advantage. So I think they should take care of business here. I'm going to go Miami on this one. Next up, not a divisional game. We got the Kansas City Chiefs at the Carolina Panthers. <laughs> Chiefs are coming off a tough loss to the Bills. They're still one of, if not the best teams in the league. Pat Mahomes didn't have their best, you know, his best game, but it still came down to the end. And um, I think that this is just a more of a situation where the Chiefs are just pissed off. Obviously, coming off a loss, the Panthers they won two game, two straight. But again, those were against like the Giants and the the Saints. So I want to see more from them if I'm gonna, you know, even pick them anytime soon. Still. Um, the Chiefs have the firepower to dominate on both sides, and that's why they're actually my lock of the week here. I think that they come out hot, they go out angry, and um, I think they just take it out on Carolina here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go with the Chiefs as my lock of the week. <laughs> Next up, we got the Tampa Bay Bucks at the New York Giants. So the Bucks played well. Within, uh, they got a win over New England last week, I believe. Um, at this... I think it was Baker. Baker threw for what? Did he throw for four touchdowns? I don't remember. But the Giants right now are just a complete mess, man. And, um, you know... <sighs> yeah, I... You know, I was actually... I'm not going to lie to you. Sorry, I, I made a mistake. I apologize. Baker didn't throw for four. It was 19-17. I didn't take a look at that properly. But, um, yeah, the Giants, man, they're, they, they're just a complete mess right now. The injuries have just been... Holding them back. Tampa Bay has the weapons to attack New York's weaknesses, in my opinion. I think they just come out and they have a snowstorm on the offensive side. And, you know, my, I don't, I think they, I don't know. I'm not sure. Last time I checked, I think the Giants did bench Daniel Jones. So we'll see. But I'm going to go Tampa on this one. I think the Giants cover. I think it'll be a close game, honestly. But Tampa's favored by five. I'll say they win 24-21. Give me the bucks over the Giants. Next up, we got the Detroit Lions at the Indianapolis Colts. So the Lions put up over 50 points on the Jags. Jared Goff has been playing at an MVP level. The Colts, they barely beat the Jets in a pretty sloppy game. They just haven't shown any consistency to me. Um, the Lions, they're firing on all cylinders, man. And I just feel like this feels like this feels like more of a game that they their role here. Um, maybe it won't be an easy, easy win, but I still think they get the job done here. I think that they're just... <laughs> You know, they're kind of on a mission to just string up some wins here. Yeah, I'm going to go Detroit on this one to get a win. Now we go to the 4 p.m. slates, guys. We got the Denver Broncos at the Las Vegas Raiders. So the Broncos had one of their best games of the season last week. Bo Nix, he threw for over 300 yards. He threw for four touchdowns. The defense has been dominant pretty much all year. And, you know, they completely shut down the Falcons in week 11, you know, last week. So the Raiders, unfortunately, they just couldn't get much going in the red zone against the Dolphins. And that just led to a blowout. But Denver's defense should be able to control this game. Um, you know, it's a divisional game again. So maybe you could see, an, you know, an upset here because, it, you know, division rivals, that's just what they do. But, you know, Bo Nix is playing well. The Broncos, I think they have an edge here. I'm going to go Denver to get a win over the Raiders. But I wouldn't be surprised if it goes either way. Next up, we got the Arizona Cardinals at the Seattle Seahawks in yet another divisional matchup. So the Cardinals are sitting atop of the NFC West, I believe. Um, yeah, they look they look they look solid in their win last week. Uh, they've been getting it done with pretty much on the offensive side and on defense. So the Seahawks, unfortunately, barely edged out. Um, I think it was the 49ers. So that's a definitely a yeah that was they, yeah they barely edged out the 49ers, but that was still a game that I expected San Fran to win, but. Yeah, I think Arizona, they have the momentum, um, their ability to make plays in the big moments here. I think it's going to come to fruition. Kyler Murray seems to have decent success against the Seahawks. And um, yeah, I'm going to go I'm gonna go Arizona on this one, but I wouldn't be surprised if it goes either way. I completely forgot about that the Seahawks actually upset the Niners. That's kind of, that's crazy. But 
Anyway, moving on to the San Francisco 49ers at the Green Bay Packers. So the Packers pulled off a clutch win over the Bears because of a blocked field goal. Jordan Love led a game-winning drive. The special teams came up clutch on the blocked field goal. And the 49ers, they lost to Seattle. And they've been, injury, they've been dealing with injuries on both sides. But I'll tell you this, man. San Francisco just has Green Bay's number. You know, regular season playoffs, it don't matter. I mean, they just seem to have their number. Um, Green Bay's the home team, so I really wanted to pick them in this one. But I'll be honest with you, 49ers are my upset of the week. I think, you know, the success against the Packers, they... I think it's going to continue, and the Packers are coming off an emotional win over a division rival. See how, or uh, 49ers are coming off a loss to a division rival, so I think they just come in a little bit more angry, and they got to feed Christian McCaffrey because without him, you know, they're not going to go very far. So I'm going to go with the 49ers to actually pull off an upset win over the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> Sunday Night Football, we got the Philadelphia Eagles at the Los Angeles Rams. So the Eagles are coming off a really strong performance. I believe Saquon Barkley had over 100 as well, um, yeah, Washington's defense just got completely shut down uh, by the Eagles' offense, that is. But uh, they're one of the most balanced team in the league. They've been for so many years now. So, you know, the Rams, they're solid, but I don't know if they have the depth or consistency for them to hang with the Eagles. The Eagles should take this one, I don't want to say easily, but without too much trouble. I think that they can take advantage of that Rams defense, and I think the Rams are going to struggle against that Eagles defense. So, I'm going to go Philly on this one to get a win over the Rams. Lastly, we got the Baltimore Ravens at the Los Angeles Chargers. So, the Ravens had a disappointing loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers last week, but they're still one of the most complete teams in the league. And uh, outside of the first two weeks, they haven't lost back-to-back. So, you know, they're pretty good coming off losses as well. But Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry... You know, that gives them a strong run game, a dominant run game, but their defense has to be able to, you know, their defense really hasn't been able to shut them out. Um, or at least our defense. Like, any deep, or at least our defense didn't shut them out. Um, yeah, I... I mean, the Ravens defense, I apologize. The 32nd ranked pass defense, they haven't been able to shut anybody out. You know, teams, obviously no one's going to hold Lamar or Derrick Henry, but, you know, at the, the defense, on the run side, they can stop them. I mean, they did well last week, honestly, um, even in the passing. I mean, Russell wasn't going to have the greatest game. But Chargers, they've been inconsistent pretty much, not all year, I want to say. They're finding a little bit of a rhythm now, but it, it was a little bit of a struggle for three weeks. But they edged us out last week, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we almost came back and won. Uh, I think Baltimore's ability to close the clock is going to come here, if they can control the clock, sorry. Um, and they just make big plays on defense, you know, like they, they, the franchise is pretty much known for in terms of a tradition. They should be able to get a win here, and I think that they will. I'm going to go with Baltimore to bounce back from that loss against the Steelers, and they improve to, what are they, they're 7-4, and four, so they'll, be, they'll improve to 8-4 and four on the season. So, I'm going Ravens here over the Bolts. And those are my picks, guys. I just wanted to kind of get it out here kind of quickly. Um, obviously, no bangles, so I usually expand a little bit on that. But, yeah, regardless, the picks, I mean, I made. I'm, I'm also not feeling too great right now in terms of, like, you know, I'm not feeling like that well. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, I just wanted to quickly record this and get it out here. But you guys have a good one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Ohio Game Talk signing off.